Joined by head coach Brendan Agarota after the Beacons pick up their third consecutive win here at home. Coach, the past two nights, the pitching has been there. You used five different guys, and every single guy pretty much lights out. Didn't give up an earned run or just the one. Why have these five guys been so successful? What does that say about the depth of your staff? Yeah, I think our uh, our pitching depth is definitely our strength. We've been getting quality starts. Guys have been going deep into the games. Uh, they're throwing multiple pitches for strikes. Um, Burgos has been excellent his last two outings. Today wasn't his, his A game, um, but he still he got by without his best uh, against a, a very good team. So I was uh, pleased with his performance. I thought Kaufman out of the pen. Kaufman's been very good this year. Um, throws a ton of strikes. Got a big strikeout in a huge spot for us. Uh, and then Tramadozzi's been excellent. Your defense, especially on the infield, a lot of guys have been moving around, trying to adjust to new positions because of some injuries. Um, a couple of key errors, but also they're making some big plays when the game is tight. What can you say about some of those guys maybe sort of fitting into new roles and adjusting on the fly? Yeah, I mean, I think sometimes we forget that guys need reps to get comfortable with position. Uh, we've had some guys playing out of position. Um, you know, I think the one thing that we did well in fall ball is we had guys all over the diamond trying them in different spots. Um, you know, Hughie, who's our backup catcher, played first last year, played outfield last year. Um, was kind of slotted to play some second. He's been playing some third, and tonight he stepped up and played short for us, uh, made a couple of phenomenal plays. Um, so I think as he gets um, some more seasoning, I think he'll settle in out there and uh, be able to do well. It's good to have Kyle back in the lineup. I thought he uh, made some nice plays at third base and started to barrel some balls up. And, again, we've got a, we've got a deep team. You know, guys need to just, when their name is called, be ready to go. Winning with small ball the last two days, haven't necessarily battled up as many balls as you would like, but how key is that to knowing with your pitching depth um, that if you just do a, enough that you can pick up some big wins over regionally ranked opponents? Yeah, the hitting was terrible. I mean, it's the only way to say it. I mean, we uh, struck out 10 times. I think we hit maybe one ball hard. Uh, so uh, just, you know, uh, I'm not really sure what it is. We'll keep uh, working at it, trying to figure it out. I know it's uh, we're out early hitting today, out early early hitting yesterday, then hitting again before the game. Uh, maybe we're hitting too much. Some of it's just approach and and uh, too many guys being mental midgets. You know, they got to get out of their head, see ball, hit ball. It's a simple game. Um, but again, the, the approaches have to be way better. You know, we got a big conference doubleheader with UMass Dartmouth this weekend, um, and we're going to need to execute way better. I mean, you don't always have to get hits to score runs, um, but we struck out in some very big spots. Um, there was some failure of execution in, uh, on a few different times, but we were fortunate to get it, uh, a couple key hits, and, and then we were kind of gifted a couple runs on uh, you know, a couple attempted small ball plays. Thanks so much for your time, Coach. The Beacons open conference play on Sunday at noon at UMass Dartmouth. Thank you, Seth.